Catch Dr. Drew's new show at 9 on HLN. Weeknights on HLN. I mean... Wow. Yeah, stalking, and, and now he's trying to extort me for money to leave him alone. And it's like, one day I love you, then I hate you, then, I mean, every name in the book he's called me, but then he also says, he, you know, he's king. He's a descendant of King Tut, and I'm Cleopatra, and uh -oh. we're destined to be. Then he said, the aroma of my blood draws him to me. How could he can't help it? Rhonda, I see you shuddering over <laughs> yes, there. It's definitely. pretty scary stuff. It's very scary stuff, and it's so typical of someone who's suffering from what we call erotomania. And the problem with the people, the stalkers, who are erotomanic, uh, they focus on the celebrity. And the celebrities are so easy to find nowadays with Twitter and with YouTube. And they believe that there is a connection, that it's ordained somewhere, that they be together, that they have this relationship. And, and they have to have some contact first for it really to flare, right? Does, isn't that typically how it works? Not necessarily. Not necessarily. because well, we is, is Twitter enough of a connection these days? Would that's enough to cause it to flare, maybe? Maybe nowadays. Yeah. But think back to Rebecca Schaefer and Robert Bardo. And Rebecca Schaefer was the young actress who was on My Sister Sam back in the late 80s. And Robert Bardo fixated on her. She was on TV. He saw her every week and believed that there was this connection. And he came to California specifically to kill her, to save her, as he and, said and, to, and, to his sister. And Ron, you told me something off, off air for it, because I was describing my, the stalker that had come after me. Mm -hmm. And he actually came out, he started threatening online my children. And it's when my wife stepped in, she had a detective next to him. She called him into her office, said, read this. And she goes, now look. I'm not afraid to die. You need, you need to do something about this guy, or, or I'm going to. And uh, God bless you, Susan. That, that's what really sprung them to action. And they were very good. They took it very, very seriously. Um, it, it is something that doesn't just happen to so, the celebrities, though, is it? No. I think 3.4 million people a year are stalked in the United States. That came out of the Department of Justice. The majority of those people who are being stalked are everyday people.